last but not least, a, a chart for troubleshooting. If you find yourself having these particular problems, these are the things to check um, to, to go through. If your alignment steps fail, of course, you want ideally you would want to know what step it fails at and it would tell you what's going on with it. But first, reposition and remount your sample. That's the most common case where for some reason you have a lot of tilt on your sample and the omega offset needed is outside the range. You could conversely widen the range of your omega uh, scans for alignment. You do want to check omega scan for curvature effects. So as I mentioned, especially in the direct beam measurements, it, mine was a very sharp, narrow omega scan shape. But if you have curvature effects, you can, might see a very wide peak and perhaps the software did not pick the max intensity very effectively. Uh, you can also get for a regular curvature, you can get two or three peaks within that range. And so you definitely want to check to make sure that's okay. You might need to reduce your sample size to reduce the curvature effects. Roughness, visual test, profilometry, again, just look at the surface. If it is enough to be able to see yourself in it, then perhaps profilometry or some other type of analysis can tell you what's happening with the roughness. It's not uncommon. Roughness can be so severe that for the second set of alignment steps where you're at a fringe, uh, you effectively don't see anything but the omega optimization. That's where you would see it. If your XR scan intensity is too low, under 0.4 degrees to theta, which is uh, usually around where the critical angle is, that's the area we're talking about. Uh, if you have flexible substrate, you now know how to approach that and why you need to flatten it. If your sample size is less than 20 millimeters on a side, you do want to consider a larger sample size because it's likely the beam is dropping off and you're having issues. Uh, you can run the alignment steps again. That might be your first line of defense on this just to see what's happening and to record the alignment steps. In most software, the alignment steps are not retained. Uh, you would have to go in and manually save them. And so running them again and saving the steps can give you a better idea of what's happening. And you also wanna check and make a scan for curvature effects for, uh, uh, you might need to reduce the sample size again, that sort of thing. If your XRR scan has very weak fringes, this might be expected if your density contrast is low. You might not be able to do anything about it aside from changing density contrast within the layers. Uh, you can collect a scan with narrower slits that can help the resolution of your system, as can a monochromator. Uh, but lateral inhomogeneity might be the cause. And so you can try making a smaller beam, and if that does not help in any way, that can be the most likely answer. If your scan is without fringes completely, in addition to increasing the resolution of your system, you might want to simply check that there is a film present through some other characterization technique. Perhaps it's on the uh, other side. Perhaps someone made a mistake in the recipe and they need to check that. Something like that can happen. But also, you can have non-uniformity issues.